I did not like that guy. That wasn't good. Celebratory creeper explosion. <laughs> and I have OCD, so I'm gonna fill this back in. We've made quite a few builds in this world, including a bakery with an automatic wheat farm, an iron farm, and a butcher shop with a cow crusher inside. And most importantly, my cute little starter base. But I realized that although the iron farm is absolutely amazing, we've also only been relying on iron. Meaning we only have a total of 10 diamonds. And this world is slowly creeping up on the 100 days mark, and if I want to make a 100 days video on it, I definitely need the sweet, sweet diamonds in the thumbnail. Because, I mean, who wants to click on a 100 days video where you transferred from no armor to iron armor? It's not very clickable. So, today, we are going to be upgrading all the way to diamond armor. But, first of all, we need to make some iron armor really quickly, as I already tried to record this episode and actually ended up dying when I found a cave over there. So, we're going to do a quick reset. First off, we're going to need some wood, and hopefully that should be enough. Somehow, I managed to strip one of those. But, it all ends up being the exact same wood in the end. Then, we can use this wood to make our tools and keep the rest for safety for later. And now the only things in my hotbar that are missing is food and some water for our bucket. So it is time to head over to the cow crusher with some of our wheat and we'll just feed these guys a little bit until we get a little bit of raw beef. And actually that really wasn't that much, but we'll have to work with it. Luckily we have some wheat left over so I might as well just turn this all into bread. And then we can cook some of our raw beef and while that's cooking we can go grab some water just like this. And just like that, most of our steak should be cooked. Perfect. So now that we have everything collected for a basic mining trip, let's head out. And like I said earlier, I did actually die before this, but I found a really good lush cave. So I think I'm gonna head right back over there and it should be in this little spruce forest over here. Just a, you know, hop, skip and a jump away. Whoa, look at that, we're already here. But I think the main cave that I was looking at is in the center of this mountain. So if we make our way up here, it should be somewhere around this corner. Perfect, there we go. Just in time for the sun to set too, I was worried about that. And we'll come on down here. And you can already see where all the uh, creepers blew me up. Oh, here's all my stuff. <laughs> Well, that's awkward. At least we have extras. It's a good thing I found this. I had my diamond pickaxe on me. That wouldn't have been fun. Okay, but speaking of diamonds, diamond pickaxes, we need to go get a little bit more of these. The diamond part, not the pickaxes. <laughs> and this cave is awesome. So hopefully we should have some pretty good luck finding some diamonds in a cave this open. So let's see if we can get down here. Might as well just take the safe way. And I'm not seeing any so far, but let's get down there and double check. Nope, nope. Oh, diamonds. I immediately started getting chased by a bunch of mobs, so I had to end up boxing myself in and healing back up. That was stressful. Once I broke free, I was planning on making a shield, but I realized pretty quickly that I actually had one already in my inventory. This is uh, my reminder that I am not the brightest person. <laughs> With my newfound confidence, I made my way out of the box and started fighting off all of the mobs that had collected around me. But we did run past some diamonds, so I want to head back to those. Oh, this is a really awkwardly placed diamond, isn't it? Please do not shoot me. Oh, I see some more over there. Perfect. So I'm thinking the goal is going to be a total of, I believe, 26 diamonds is what we need for a full set of diamond armor and tools and the enchant table. I'd like to at least start, if not finish that this episode. So subtracting the 10 that we have from home, we need about 15 more diamonds from this cave. And I need this guy to leave me alone. Come here. I did not like that guy. Okay, I will put these in my hot bar and we can go ahead and grab these ones over here. Oh, and right there, perfect. Not right now, Mr. Creeper. Not a good time, thank you. So let's move on to the ones that were over here. Oh, and right there. Oh my goodness, this cave is perfect. And there's some over there and there. Must be like the perfect level for these guys to spawn. Yeah, negative 54. We're at like diamond level right now, like the best spot. I'm pretty sure it's negative 59, but you know, same spot basically. But these are all single veins, which is really not too great. Should we just uh, make our way over? Little bits at a time. This is like a frost walker, but environmental destroyer. <laughs> Almost there, just one more little guy and we can make our way up here. Please be more than one. Don't fall in the lava either. <laughs> oh, and it's still one. It's okay though, cause they're spawning in like good amounts. And this guy was also just a one vein. Oh, sad. 
but at least we have five diamonds already, which means we're already about a third of the way. And I think I've made my way pretty much full circle back to where we were, and I haven't found any more diamonds. So I think I'm gonna let my interest get the best of me, and I'm gonna go check out that mine shaft. Kind of just hoping that it will be on just enough of a diamond level that we'll still be able to get some diamonds from it. What? Oh no! <laughs> Not Nemo! I'll, I'll save you guys. I, I can only save one of you though. I'm so sorry. Make our way over here <laughs> and start searching through the mine shaft. There we go. Oh, and it's actually a double vein this time. Perfect. Triple. That is so much nicer in comparison to the one diamond veins that we were finding earlier. That puts us up to nine total diamonds. Ooh, spawners. Are they spawning baby zombies? Is that a thing? I'm not sure I want to like wait and find out. Got a music disc, a saddle, and some diamond horse armor it looks like. Nothing too interesting, but I'll take it, I'll take it. And it doesn't look like there's anything back here, but there is quite a few new caves back here. Ooh, and diamonds, perfect. It's been so long since I've seen one of these. Ooh, hello. Hmm. Oh, come on, there's two of them. They're just tempting me. Let me make another bucket, okay? I'm gonna be really sad if I have to leave one of these axolotl guys behind. So make a bucket, pick them up, and now I don't have to be sad. That's how Minecraft works, right? And we have a double vein for the diamonds. Extra win. So now we're at a total of 11 out of like 15 or 16 that we need. I think I'm gonna poke my head around here a little bit more and then we'll head back into the mine shaft. And when diamonds spawn, I'm pretty sure they don't spawn in all of like the moss and the clay and stuff. So it's probably actually a harder spawn rate for this cave, unfortunately. This is kind of cool though. Very pretty, very pretty indeed. Uh, zombies, not so pretty, not gonna lie. Ooh, diamonds, perfect. Okay, Let's make our way over there with Without falling on ooh, even more diamonds actually maybe I was wrong maybe the spawn rates are good here I don't know I just smacked that moss block and please be more than one ah okay that's fine we will head back down and down again and then we can grab this diamond as well Ooh, we're getting close I think instead of heading back to the mine shaft I kind of want to explore this cave a little bit more. Ooh, big cave big cave I can already see some diamonds over there I might be liking though I'm not gonna lie it's always how it goes huh it's always this stuff. I feel like I used to see a lot more people upset about that, but now we finally figured out the textures. Oh, it's totally lichen. Yep, lichen. Oh, but right below it, I am apparently blind, and that is also diamonds. And that might actually be a three vein, which might put us just enough that we don't have to keep searching for any more diamonds. Zombie one, zombie two, eat some food, and Mr. Skeleton. And now we can finally, finally mine these diamonds. And please be three. Oh, perfect, perfect. It's a four vein, actually. We will go home with, I believe, one extra, which honestly is probably good. Knowing my math skills, we will probably need much more than this, but I will take it and I will leave. I should probably just play it safe, honestly, and go straight up through the ceiling, even though they always say don't mind straight up in Minecraft, so that's not really playing it safe, but you know. Um, ooh, geode, but no diamonds. Not that I can see, at least. That wasn't good. That could have been so bad. Okay, enough getting distracted. Straight back up. And we did it. Celebratory creeper explosion. <laughs> and I have OCD, so I'm gonna fill this back in. And we are back up to the surface now. So I just need to find my base. And I wanna say it's that direction, but it also could be totally that direction. So we'll see. <laughs> Let's be smart about this. I think I should probably pull up the coordinates to the base. Okay, so we need to be at 805.45. So definitely in this direction. I mean, definitely in this direction. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is going to be a long trip. Hopefully, I will see you guys in a minute at the base. Ah, home sweet home. Well, I do have to say that was quite the adventure. Yep, yes it was. So I think it is time to dump out this entire inventory. And there we go. And now, and now it is the time that we've been working towards this entire time. Let's grab all of our diamonds, all 27 of them, and make our first set of diamond armor. So there is the leggings, the hat, oh, the under hat, <laughs> the boots, and of course the chest plate. And just like I said, 
we have two left over for our enchantment table and one as a spare. So we can take all this nasty iron armor off, throw it in here. He's here for the watch party. We can put all of these on and we are officially, officially shiny little guys. But unfortunately, I was going to try to build our enchantment table and the bookshelves just so we can get all the way up to a level 30 enchantment room, but that might have to wait for another episode as I am officially completely out of time. That took way longer than I ever expected just for some diamonds, but it was definitely, definitely worth it. So if you did enjoy this episode, please do consider leaving a like as it really does help out a lot and consider subscribing if you aren't already because I would love to see you guys in the next episode. Bye!